All right, so today we're going to be installing, testing, and troubleshooting Light DM and GDM. We already have SDDM installed and KDE installed. I'm just switched over to a different virtual terminal. So I'm going to type Pacman dash capital S Y and Light DM to install Light DM. And yeah, I'm basically just going to be troubleshooting this the whole way through and poking around. So I'm not actually going to accomplish anything. So you know, set your expectations for for this video. So anyway, so I'm, I'm checking the status of the service and it's obviously inactive because I just installed it. So I'm going to enable Light DM, and I believe I've already disabled STDM. Now I'm actually doing this video as a voiceover, and here I'm rebooting. Yeah, so this is a voiceover for this video. Um, so I basically recorded all the troubleshooting and poking around I did, and I am now doing another voiceover. And um, yeah, this is just all the stuff I've compiled together in case somebody finds this useful. Um, you may or may not just you know be aware of what you're getting yourself into before you waste time watching this video So I'm basically just kind of you know video documenting all the issues I've had and the goofy steps I took to troubleshoot them. So anyways uh, on another virtual terminal after uh, rebooting and it not working and So here I am going to check D message nothing useful but I, I believe I can filter out some of that, that most recent stuff, those thermal messages. So I'm gonna grep dash feed them and filter them out. And yeah, no useful messages there. Um, nothing that really stands out as something that would cause an issue. So basically light DM didn't start up and it had some issues. So I switched to a different virtual terminal, which is what I'm on right now, and which is what I am troubleshooting it on. So here we check the status and the service for, for light DM is failed now <clears throat> yeah so from here uh, not a whole lot of useful information in this output here but yeah it is telling me that I could check the logs but uh, let's see first I was I think I was gonna do something else first so I think I'm gonna try to start it up yeah so let, let's start it it's not gonna work at all so yeah start it up and this is where it tells me you know use journal whatever to check the logs. These aren't gonna give me anything useful. Maybe I could dig deeper, but I'm not going to today. But yeah, these logs aren't gonna give me anything useful either. So yeah, it's basically just telling me that it failed. Um, you know, if you happen to know what is going on with these logs or you know what an easy fix is, definitely leave a comment down below. I'd be curious to hear about it and probably whoever else is taking the time to watch this video would be curious to hear about it. But uh, yeah, anyways, if uh, so, here I'm going to disable Light DM, and I'm going to go ahead and just probably reboot it, or, or rather, I'm going to. Why am I doing this? What? Yeah. All right. Start SDDM. So here we go. I've started SDDM, and all this it, it basically just right away starts up a session. Well, I, I've switched over to this terminal, to this other virtual terminal that I have open at the same time and enabled it. So, you know, on reboot, it's still gonna be there. And yeah, I think I'm gonna switch back to the other virtual terminal where X11 is running. And there we go, we're switched back. And from here, like I'm not actually gonna log in and do a whole lot in the X windows. I believe at this point, yeah, I'm just rebooting it. And yep, there it shows the output from the Elgato that I am using to uh, you know capture the HDMI from my laptop. But here we go. I've rebooted back into this and kind of cut out you know the the system booting up. But here I am going to go right on ahead and log right in to make sure everything is still working as it you know as it was before I added this. And there we go. So uh, SDDM is still working. I can still log into my KDE desktop. And from here, rather than use the terminal on here, I'm probably just going to switch over to that other virtual terminal that I had open. So switch back over to this test mode virtual terminal. The log right in is root here. And from here, I am going to run pacman sy. And uh, yeah, S to synchronize, Y to uh, make sure it pulls down the package metadata, basically the list of you know updated information about packages. And yeah, at this point, I think this is based on some troubleshooting I had done. Like I had jumped on another system and you know looked up some things about um, you know about Light DM, and I, I believe this is where I realized that you needed to install a greeter. 
So um, yeah, full disclosure here, I have not read all the documentation for LightDM, and I also think the original issues I, were, I was having um, have, have something to do with power management on the laptop that I'm on and has nothing to do with SDDM, so I think I've ruled that out since having recorded this video, recording this video. But um, yeah, I have not done my due diligence, uh, you know, reading up on LightDM or GDM. So, any case, I'm about to install something here. But I, I've apparently just left it sitting on this prompt. I think this is where I was, you know, looking up info on the other screen. But here we go. This is me typing in uh, LightDM slick greeter so of, of all the greeters that's the one I decided to install and try out because I thought it would look kind of neat and uh, yeah this is this is gonna fail but uh, let, let's see how this goes you, you, we'll see um, what happened anyways so here I am going to disable um, I say I say need to disable okay enable light DM so uh, yeah it's telling me hey this already exists so I'm going to go ahead and disable SDDM and try re-enabling it again. So disable SDDM. And now it's going to let us enable LightDM. And there we go. So yeah, only one of these allowed at a time. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system again. There we go. System shutting down. And there we go. So yeah, so Elgato. So I'm, yeah, as I said before, I'm capturing the output from my laptop with my Elgato device, which is amazing and I love it. I uh, mostly use it for capturing games, but I am now also using it to capture output from my laptop. And here we go. Um, logging in on this virtual terminal here. I believe because it failed to actually, so so yeah, it failed to start the uh, display manager. Um, checking D message output again. And basically, every time it fails to start the display manager by default, I just jump to another virtual terminal and you you know get a terminal that way. Every single time. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah. So we're gonna run system CTL status and let's just check the status of light DM. So I'm not even bothering to filter out that stuff in the DMSG output. Yeah, so the status is failed. Same problem again. Um, we're, we're also not going to find any useful information for how to fix this here. So I'm going to go ahead and disable light DM for now. And it's like I'm going to be running pacman-sy you know, to install another package and we're going to install GDM. So this is what I had chosen to try at this point just to see if we can get something else, something other than SDDM to work. And technically GDM worked. We're, we're going to see that in a sec. We actually, we won't see that in a sec, but I, I did get it to work. But for whatever reason, GDM did not want to... Uh, I wasn't able to capture the output of that on my, uh, like I wasn't able to capture that with my Elgato device. When I switched to GDM, I was, uh, it's going to boot up, but I'm not going to be able to see anything because it apparently only sends to the single screen on my laptop by default. I guess I was lucky with SDDM. I configured KDE. I configured the displays to uh, just mirror my display onto the other monitor. From my laptop and in and uh you know the elgato device captured that but with gdm um i guess i didn't di maybe i would have had to configure that in gnome or maybe i would have uh maybe there's no way to do it i'm not sure but one way or another it was not working the way you know my configs that i set in kde did not carry over to gnome so i was unable to get gnome to uh yeah, I was just completely unable to. So right here, see how you see my screen is blank here? I, I believe this is the part where I was actually poking around in the GDM uh, display manager, but I was unable to actually capture anything. But I am going to log into, uh, I'm going to log into GNOME, and you will, you should see that, that, that part will be captured. So you see here, this is running, that yeah, uh, does not look like, yeah, so that's KDE launching there. So I launched KDE from GDM 
and uh, it, it worked. So um, yeah, I believe that's where I am right now. And here I am going to, uh, re really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna try GNOME. So even though, like, like I, I installed GDM, not for the purpose of running GNOME, just to have a, a different um, display manager, but while installing GDM, it also installed GNOME with it, which is fine, I guess that kind of makes sense. So here I am, I've logged out and I'm back on the GDM display manager. You can't see anything because it's just not outputting to that second monitor, which is where I'm capturing my HDMI output. So anyways, <clears throat> yeah, so here we go. I have logged into the GNOME desktop. So it looks like the display output is configured a bit differently. It's not config, it's not, you know, it's not taking my KDE configs. So it does not know to capture the primary monitor. So you can see here, I should you should be seeing icons and stuff, but you only see that stuff on the primary monitor, and this is by default capturing the secondary monitor. And I, I guess I would have to poke around with the display settings to get those to mirror, which I I opted not to do. And that was me just briefly moving my mouse over. So I'm logged into GNOME. It's it's a you know an okay GNOME environment. I think I had some other issues. I forget what they were with GNOME. I would have expected it to work flawlessly. Uh, you know, all the desktops, that one should not require, you know, anything at all. But in um, any case, I have been, you know, mucking about with the display managers and stuff, so who knows what I might have messed up. But in any case, yeah, no big deal. This is just uh, me not having the displays. This is me on the other screen messing around with display settings and stuff. That's why you just see this, uh, you know, zooming out and zooming back in. This is the this is the view it gives you when you, um, I believe, when you hit, like, the, the command or the window button, right? So... So anyways, yeah, not a whole lot of exciting stuff there, and this is basically where the video ends. So that was just me poking around with stuff. Hopefully that wasn't too disappointing of a video there. So hopefully you found this useful, if not just interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or any comments, questions, criticisms, anything you want to say. I want to hear it, but also definitely hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of other great tech content you just don't want to miss out on. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. We do like coding, Linux, servers, hardware, software, electronics, networking, all sorts of great stuff, robots. Don't miss out on that. Definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the, the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't give you notifications when new videos get posted. And also check out the list of videos we've already published. We have a ton of great content out there already. So definitely check that out. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.